Today, I'm breaking down three editing techniques that Annalise editor Kami uses to create his super clean and recognizable style. Two folk in the clip, eight got hit. Kobe. I'm going to show you how you can incorporate some of these styles into your own videos. That way you guys can get placements with major artists like NLE. And the first technique he uses is actually genius because it's so simple, but I just don't see other editors or directors doing it. So we all know to have flow in your edit, you need to cut to the beat of the song, add VFX, add shakes, zooms, all that stuff. But Kami takes it a step further and constantly adds shakes throughout the video because he adds them on beat hits such as 808s, kicks, snares, all that stuff. And then he also uses them a handful of different ways like using them as transitions to amplify some movements or something that NLE will do in the video itself. And then he'll also apply those shakes to longer clips to keep the longer clips that would otherwise be kind of boring, a little bit more interesting throughout. So to incorporate this style into your video, all you need to do is apply a shake effect. And then once you have that there, you can copy and paste those keyframes throughout and apply them on beat hits, transitions, when your artist does something significant in the video and just copy and paste it throughout. These shakes will look a lot better if you pay attention to the waveform itself when applying the keyframes. And then also going through and changing the values of some of the keyframes. That way it's not the same shake all the time throughout the video. The second thing he'll do throughout Annalise's videos is add simple motion track text with some animations that just show the lyrics of the song. This instantly gives the video more flow and keeps it interesting for the viewer because they have something to look at as well as the artist performing. And it obviously flows along with the song because the lyrics are actually popping up on time when he's saying the words. But the thing that separates his motion track text from a lot of other editors is he always makes sure to have a perfect track. He won't include any lyrics unless that track is absolutely perfect in the footage. Now there are two main ways you can apply this style to your footage very easily in After Effects. The first one being the 3D camera track. This allows you to solve your scene and then place text like it's floating in the environment and looks like it's floating next to your subject. Or you can track the motion of something, that way your text sticks to that and it'll follow the movement of your object or subject, whatever you track. Be sure to add some animation to your text by keyframing the position, scale, or rotation, and then just easy using those keyframes. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to like the video and also be subscribed to the channel. I think if this video gets enough likes, we might be able to convince Kami to come on the channel, share some editing sauce, and also how he got placements with an artist like NLE. Now moving on to the third technique, Kami uses a lot of masks and rotoscope out effects. These effects are probably already the most common and popular effects in music videos as a whole right now, but he does them in a bit of a different way. He makes sure that all the masks and rotoscopes are absolutely perfect and you can't see any errors, and then he also applies those masks and rotoscope transitions and effects with his shake effects. Adding those shakes on top of your rotoscopes and masks again make the footage feel a lot more interactive and feel like the VFX was actually taking place in the footage. To get those clean masks and rotoscopes in your edits, be sure to take time to actually mask out the subject properly and rotoscope out the subject properly. Don't go and skip some frames because in the end that does show in your video. For example, let's do one of these flash mask transitions that he does throughout his videos. Just go to the shape tool and then make sure to mask around your object perfectly. You can change it to whatever color you want and then add some kind of glow on top of it, make it last a frame or two, or you can cut it in and out and then finish that off with a shape. You can consistently use these throughout your videos because they don't get too repetitive unless you go absolutely crazy on them because they're so simple and clean. I think there's a lot you guys can learn from Kami because he doesn't have the craziest editing style ever. His effects aren't flashy or the most unique thing, but he's very consistent and everything he does is super dialed in. He's mastered the simple stuff and just makes good videos. There's a constant energy throughout the video and there's not really any time to click off. 